Hi, I'm Cass, and this is Honey. And we're regular Canadians enjoying weed. And we're here with David! Hello, Hi, everyone. David! Welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much for having me today. I, I'm, I'm still super new to weed, so just like, because like, I, honestly, for me, like, I've really been doing it periodically here and there, just starting like four months ago. Wow. Wow. So That's I'm like awesome. brand new. Welcome. Yeah, and so <laughs> yeah. like for me to even be on the show is pretty cool for me because like, <sighs> I mean, it's really, it's really done some powerful things for me. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff for a lot of years that I thought I was going to be stuck in for my whole life mm -hmm. because I, I, I didn't know how to mentally like change my perspective because it was so locked in perpetuated itself into these lies that I told myself mm -hmm. over and over and over again until they basically became truths in a way where I just I couldn't see any other yeah. any other way of thinking mm -hmm. and so when I took when I tried weed well the first few times obviously I was like anxious out of my mind <laughs> <laughs> and that's just really you know, yeah. your, your mind is like what is this crazy thing like I've never yeah. like so it's rejecting it but anyway I think once I started to finally let it just like sink in a bit I could, I was almost able to like step back from myself and like see myself in this new way and I could almost see all the little like problems and things like I'm dealing with in my mind and, and the, and I could see that I knew, I knew that I could find relief because I was having these moments while I was high where I was just like, wow, I'm not, I don't have that anxiety in my stomach. I'm like, I'm like chill about these things that I'm always worried about or um, and then I started to see, identify these lies, and that was the craziest part for me. And I, after that moment, I was like, what the heck does this stuff do? You know, like, I, I, I like... Oh my god, this yeah. magic thing. It's, it's like years of therapy life. in one, Holy you know, god. one joint. I, I thought to myself, how did I only take in a step to try it for real back when I was, you know, 10 years younger? You know? That's... But, but... That's a negative thought, and so I've been approaching the like I've been able to like start seeing those negative thoughts as well, which is just saw one it's, right there, and, yeah. and now I can say, you know what, that doesn't matter. I'm here and now, and everything that I am, and who I am today, has been built from all of my life, including the crap, mm -hmm. including all of those mm -hmm. negative the negative that I put on myself mm -hmm. through through identifying myself by the opinions of others, all of that stuff, mm -hmm. and like now it's like. I see myself and I'm starting to see myself for who I really am and I think I'm trying and now that I'm seeing myself in that light I'm starting to see people around me in that light so much more and I've realized if I look at myself and I'm accepting of who I am and I'm comfortable with everything I am and I, I love myself for everything that I am you know I, and then I can start to do that for others in, in a fully complete way I don't know and I've been I've been experiencing the effects of it I think yeah and it's mind blowing, and I don't even know. It's like I feel like I have this superpower right now, and I, and <laughs> so, and awesome. and I, 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 I'm trying to use it and be careful with it because I know with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. yeah. And you also now. Uh, like seem so confident and happy and you you know That's being true change. to yourself and can That's explain you know, like the way you talk so openly and honestly about your emotions like only someone who is secure in themselves can do that well, that's, you know? that's, that's what it's done for amazing. me it's made me secure oh. in myself over the span of four months and I don't even know how to put that into words that's something that people never ever do when you don't care what people think about you yeah it's then when you, you are, truly are free yeah you are truly free and you're truly um, the energy that comes off of you, people feel it, and there it's like a magnet. That's that's the only way that I could describe what I felt like, and, um, and everyone could feel like that. We have faced all sorts of abuse over this show, like and but and subtle abuse, yeah, I can major imagine. abuse, like it's just <laughs> serious, blatant, blatant <laughs> abuse, like it is completely wow. nuts. If you don't see what this could be and what this means for so many people, mm -hmm. who this is a cathartic coming out process, coming out of the cannabis closet, mm -hmm. being who you are. Like, if you can't see that and not see that that is what this show is, you don't get it. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, exactly. you don't get it. And the fact that you don't get it doesn't mean that you're right. Yeah, yeah. it just shows that you are really so, like, yeah, so behind, so not, like, 
are so not on the same page and aware of what is going on and how big and important this is going to be, how big this industry is going to be, that you just yeah. need to quietly go back into your lane and wait until you are ready to learn then. Exactly. <laughs> like, or until the world has changed around you and you realize that you're a dinosaur. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's why I think that this show has been really helpful for a lot of people is because to do something like this, you have to not care about what people yeah. think about you. But, and I, I feel like I'm proof in a, in a sense that you can go from like crippling anxiety and that controlled my life that put me into a rut for years and years and I was stuck. I feel like this is like some magic trick that has been played <laughs> yes. on my life and I and I don't want to just keep it for myself. I, I, I want to I wanna put this out there. I really do. You need to be oh, out there God, with your it. story because it is so valid and mm. so heartfelt and and you do have the energy and everything to share that story. And honestly, listening to you talk and say, like, I never felt so powerful and oh confident God. and happy yeah. in myself. Newsflash, everyone. Weed isn't a gateway drug. It makes you feel powerful and confident and happy I mean, in yourself. Like, it can I, it can treat your anxiety, yeah. you know? Like, I, I it can't can describe it. Your you. Life. Like, it can. Uh, and I'm not saying it will happen for everyone. No. Because not everyone is the same. And not everyone can be in that certain place at, mm -hmm. at the same time as anyone else. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own speed at which they they can approach that mindset. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it takes them a long time in their lives, and that's okay, because everyone's different. I, I look at myself as through my own eyes, mm -hmm. and I see a great, like, I see the man that I am, and I love every bit of him, faults and all, because that's who we are as human beings. Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Embrace the fact that you're, you have mistakes. You, you can try to fix them about yourself, but embrace that you might not be able to, and that's okay because that's part of who you are. Mm -hmm. The fact that you didn't get over that problem, that's part of who you are. Mm -hmm. Just embrace everything. That, and, take, and be patient with yourself. Take time with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, be okay with yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David, for being a regular Canadian who enjoys weed. And, and for coming out on our show and by these Canada. these two are wonderful and like <laughs> I'm I'm so happy I met them and I see big things for you I really oh, do. Oh, so. that's so oh, nice! That thank just, you so much. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, what a this has been the best day. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. Remember, everyone, to enjoy responsibly. And don't drive high. <laughs> Bye. 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 So we have a gift for you for coming on our show. It's an ashtray. Wow. Thank you so much. This is the first ashtray I have I. ever owned. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. all, well, I hope that you will always think of us when you use that. You know, uh, of course I will. <laughs> Yay. This is a very special moment.